Hello everyone, Brian from Witch Doctor here, continuing on with the tuner testing. Uh, the last video we made on the tuner testing showed that um, after appropriate load development and settling on a, on a load that was near the middle of what you would call a tune window, um, where you know powder charges that were just slightly more or less um, were shooting in the same POI, also had the same really small group. Um, after selecting um, that load that's right in the middle with a really small group and confirmed in a actually I after I did that load development I went to a 300 yard uh, score match and um, did pretty good in that match with the load so that's kind of how the load was selected was um, not only during standard load development in non-competition but also during a 300 yard uh, uh, score match Anyway, we landed on that, and then we went and we did the the, the sine wave test, and uh, we landed on a couple of settings. One that looked the best. Again, it was in the middle of the of this like nice tune window where the groups were all kind of small, and the point of impact was the same. The sine wave leveled out, settled on that as the best, and then we found kind of the worst. We shot at several groups of that, found that it does. Um, the worst shot the worst, the best shot the best, and that was statistically significant. Um, and then, mind you, this this test here was done when it was 36 degrees, 81% humidity, and 29.53 um, station pressure, or I'll just use the term barometric pressure, that's a more common term I think most people use. Um, and so that this test kind of helped develop the load in that type of atmospheric condition. And then what I ended up doing was shooting that load in essentially 38 degrees, 87% 80, humidity. So not much change at all in terms of temperature and humidity, but the barometric pressure for this shooting was on 30.05, uh, which is considerably larger. Um, previous tests that I've done on atmospheric effects show that for whatever reason where I live, where I shoot, um, that if you go above or below around 27.8 or 27, I'm sorry, 29.7 or 29.8, uh, you'll get a shift in tune. Um, like if you tune in high pressure above 29.8, your tune will do fine in conditions above that. But then once it dips below 29.8, 29.7, then the tune blows up. I mean, it literally doubles the group size. So um, definitely barometric pressure was uh, a factor in that study. Big one for out here. Again, where I live, it's pretty humid most of the time and the temperatures are pretty mild. So, um, you know, we don't get a huge spread of, of variation there on humidity. We, um, we do during the summer, but you gotta get out there and, you know, get a lot of shots down range to, to really test temperature and humidity. Um, out here, it's easier to test for barometric pressure because temp and humidity tend to be relatively stable and then barometric pressure is what swings. So anyway, um, we shot these and found that uh, turning the tuner um, in the high pressure condition, you're able to turn the tuner and then the groups shrink. And that was another statistically significant result was that um, the initial tuner setting that we tuned in low pressure ended up not doing so well in high pressure and then we turned the tuner um, to setting number one and it ended up shrinking the groups considerably and that again was a statistically significant result so that was the testing thus far and so this definitely uh, merges with previous testing on atmospherics that show that barometric pressure has some kind of role now what I wanted to do also was take tuner setting one, which does really well in high pressure, and shoot it compared to um, tuner setting number two, which does really well in low pressure. <laughs> and so I essentially shot several five shot groups on tuner settings one and two um, in sort of just random order. And in, in this shooting was done at 42 degrees, 85% humidity. So again, temperature and humidity were just about the same as previous testing. But the barometric pressure on this was 29.44. So 
So really low for, for my region of the world. Um, so essentially you would expect that tuner setting one, which seemed to have done so well in high pressure system, and tuner setting two, which did well in low pressure system, tuner setting two should do better if barometric pressure is really um, a factor here. So, and that's essentially what we found. Um, we found that um, the average aggregate of several five shot groups on tuner setting number one was 0.2866. And the aggregate for tuner setting two was 0.214. And the probability that this is a you know very likely real result, not due to chance, is 0 0.0346. So it, it's below the 0 0.05 threshold, which means that this is a statistically significant result. That essentially um, turning the tuner and this is literally one millimeter. I mean, I don't know how, I mean, if you could see this tuner and the hash marks, the difference in hash marks between one and two is ridiculously small. I mean, I, it looks like maybe a millimeter. Let's, I mean, we can certainly take some calipers and check that out real quick. Um, I haven't done it, but it's pretty darn small. Yeah, let's see, uh, about two and a half millimeters. So a slight change there in the tuner setting um, is literally the difference from what I can tell with the current data that I have and no other data available to explain this. Um, one setting, tuner setting number one, um, seems to do really well in high pressure conditions. Tuner setting number two seems to do really well in low pressure conditions and you can't do you know tuner setting two in the conditions and where tuner setting one is good and you can't and vice versa or you could but your groups will increase in size you're not appropriately setting your tuner uh, for, for the right uh, atmospherics so anyway just to uh, give you all a, um, an update on the tuner testing this was sort of considered part two and um, we are going to go ahead and just continue doing tuner testing here. Um, not exactly sure what we're going to do next, but I am paying close attention to atmospherics um, and looking at those variables. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that, you know, um, we'll probably be looking at those more here, uh, especially now that spring and the summer months are coming up. So I'll be able to get a better sample of you know different uh, temperatures and even humidity levels again though we rarely get down below 40 percent on that but um i can I, you know this testing was done in over 80 percent humidity i can do some others in you know 40 percent humidity and see what what if any difference there is but for now it seems like barometric pressure seems to be a major factor and um looks like you could uh <laughs> you could literally kind of figure that out with all of this um, type of uh, shooting and testing. Um, again, though, I want to emphasize that you know you got to get an initially um, really good load developed prior to turning the tuner. Okay, the tuner, um, as far as I can tell, and what I feel is the biggest benefit for the tuner is being able to regain tune when um, in certain atmospheric conditions you go out of tune. Okay, so you know we'll see. That's that's the findings for now. But we're going to do ongoing testing and see what else uh, you know further testing tells us. All right, everyone, take care. Have a great day, and uh, please subscribe, like, and share. Also, please check out my Patreon and become a patron. I post a lot of um, videos and posts in there that I don't put up on um, YouTube or any other forum. So um, if you want good inside info, additional info stuff that you're not seeing on youtube it's you know a lot of it is there um also probably gonna do some you know video talks with you know some of the patrons stuff like that so um probably best if you migrate over there too and check out what i got going on there anyway okay take care bye bye